Alzheimer's disease is an illness that affects the brain and it starts actually earlier in life than you might think. Uh, changes can occur as early as someone's 40s without them actually losing memory in an obvious way until their late 60s. And the illness can go on for about 10 or 13 years. Gradual loss of memory and other aspects of brain function, which could be your ability to have a conversation uh, or your ability to organize activities and eventually to take care of yourself. Alzheimer's disease to me in a word is all about change. The patient is changing, your expectations of the patient are changing, the caregiver has to change how everything in the household works. Um, we all have to change how we address that patient and how we set that person up for success. Um, a lot of changes will occur over the period of a, of a long lifetime, but this is a really big change. You don't have to pretend that the patient doesn't have Alzheimer's disease. You can acknowledge that. You don't have to nag them about the fact that they have poor memory, and you don't have to keep quizzing them to try to keep that brain active. I don't think that actually works. What really works is for you to focus on what are the things that are going to help this person at the end of the day to have felt safe, avoid any pain, to feel healthy, to feel loved or meaningfully interacting with another person, and have an activity that has some meaning to it, whether that's for fun or actually achieves a purpose. These are very simple things, but if we can keep the focus there, there are many ways that people either living with the patient or not living with the patient can contribute to the patient succeeding in having a very simple but goal-oriented day. To get involved in Alzheimer's awareness, you can follow 1M Tweets on Twitter or you can visit 1mtweets.com.